Let's go. What's going on, y'all? It's your, it's your, it's your boy, Brandon. I'm about to rattle some of y'all fingers, man, because look, you as a man should not have kids in 2020. If you have a kid, bro, in this society, you are making probably one of the biggest mistakes in your life. Man, I'm gonna tell you the reason why, but before we get into it, man, smash that thumbs up button and let, and if you're new, subscribe to you. four reasons why men should not have uh, kids in society. But before we get into that, bro, I wanna let you know, bro, I am not a kid hater. I am not one of these politicians who likes pizza and hot dogs. In fact, I have a baby brother. He's actually a foster kid to my grandma. And we've actually been raising him since the time he was one or 10 days old and he's two and a half. And I seen him grow up and I see him, you know, he's a little man kind of almost. You know, I have a lot of friends who have kids, they have sons, they have daughters, they have nieces, I have nephews, man. I have little cousins and all that shit. But look, bro, if you as a man get a kid in 2020, you are setting your life back. And I'm gonna tell you the four reasons why. First things first is kids are expensive, bro. You guys complain about the price of living, you complain about gas, you complain about mortgage prices, you complain about car prices. Well, bro, what do you think a kid is going to do? The average price to raise a kid from zero to 18 is what, $250,000 a year? It's a lot of fucking money, bro. And the thing that you guys need to understand is that I'm not saying kids are super, super expensive. You can definitely have a kid and still make it and get rich, bro. There's a lot of people who have done that. But what I'm saying is that it makes it harder, bro. Daycare, diapers, baby food, doctor visits, bro. Medicines, bro. And then not only that, but it's an expense in two ways because one, you have to spend money on the kid. And two, a kid takes so much of your fucking time. You know, I have a rule. If I was to have a kid with a chick, she would have to take care of the kid 90% of the time, bro. You know, my grandma, she came to me, was like, oh, your little brother, you know, you think you can watch him? You think you can watch him? I'm like, no, I can't. I can't watch him because one, he's going to distract me and take away the time that I can use to go and make money or go and build my business or go and make my YouTube channel. And you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about, bro. Kids is a lot of time, especially as a man, bro. You know, women are geared towards multitasking and taking care of kids. But bro, I don't got time to be picking up doo-doo, bro. I don't got time to be, you know, hearing crying at four or five o'clock in the morning. I truly, truly do not have time. And some people might, oh, bro, you're kind of selfish. It is what it is, bro. I just have to stage in my life where well, I personally don't want to fucking kid. You know what I'm saying? And as a man, even though you have biological urges, you don't have a biological clock like a woman where she thinks, oh, I'm 25, oh, I'm 29, I'm 30, I need to have kids. You know, it's funny, man, uh, a chick that I used to date who really wanted me to be her boyfriend, she came at me with that kid shit and I was like, <laughs> hell nah. Tell the no, 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 yeah, tell the no. Nah, bro, because it's just gonna set you back. Just like if you guys were to get in a serious relationship or get married, it's going to set you back. So that's the first reason. Now, the second reason has to deal with women. I guarantee you, a lot of you guys know people who have a kid and their baby mom is using their kid for power. You guys see all these famous athletes, famous, um, you know, celebrities who literally fuck these famous guys, have a kid with them so they can take out their shit. Paul George, Future. Bro, the list goes on and on. Don't take my baby. I'm at $13,000 a month. What more do you want from me? <laughs> at this point in my life, bro, I want to live a stress-free life to the point where I don't have to bicker and have to argue with a female. And I know a lot of guys say, yo, you should vet a female before you do. I get that, bro. But how many of you guys know a female who literally changed within a week? They might have loved you one day and they fucking hated you the next. So when you're basing your power and your, your ability to see a kid off of the whims of a woman's emotions, in my opinion, that is a stupid move. Just like a marriage. A lot of you guys say not to get married because you never know. The girl, she might see a guy with a bigger dick or a better car and she might leave your ass or she might just get bored. And you as a man, you probably gonna get bored of her. So whenever you that happens, a lot of times what happens in these child custody battles is you go through fucking hell because the woman hates you. And in this society that we live in, you as a man, bro, 80 to 90 percent of the time, you're not going to get the rights to take care of your kid, bro. And at the end of the fucking day, bro, if you have a kid in this society, the kid needs the dad. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. People say, oh, kids can be raised by single mothers. Look, bro, I got raised by a single mother, man. 
When my dad passed away when I was eight years old, I lived with my mom till I was 17. And uh, the amount of feminine energy, the amount of, you know, me lacking masculinity and leadership, it set me back, bro, to the point where if I actually had a dad in my life, I know I would be way, way farther ahead. And I know my dad, he wasn't out of the picture, per se, but when he passed away, bro, there was not a strong male father figure in my life, and that fucked me up. So I personally wouldn't want to have a kid in this society where, you know, at any moment the kid could be, or the, my mom could be, uh, my uh, my uh, baby mama could be like, oh, you can only see your kids once a month or, you know, every other week or on the weekends. Especially when you have an attachment to your kid, you see them growing up and getting stronger and getting bigger. You're going to want to see the kid more often. And you're not going to want to go through all this bullshit getting sent to family court every fucking day or every month because you and your baby mama are going through some bullshit. And that's not even talking about having a stepdad come into the fucking picture, bro. So you can obviously see why that's such a big reason. Now, the third reason why men shouldn't have kids in 2020 is because society doesn't want your son to be a man. Now, look, if you have a girl, that's on you, bro. You know, the WAP energy out here is strong, so you might have a little Tatiana. We're not going to get into that. At the end of the day, bro, when it comes down to it, me, I want a son, bro. I'm going to just be honest with you guys, bro. I want a son. You know, a daughter would be cool, but if I was to have a kid, I want a son. But the thing that you need to understand is in these Babylonian schools and the schools in America, they're teaching men to lose their masculinity, bro. And it's fucked up, bro. I'm not gonna get too much into it, bro, because you know the alphabet crews, you know, they, they politically correct a lot of videos. But bro, if you have a son in this society, he's more than likely not gonna be masculine because all the feminine energy, all the programming through these, these fucking Disney cartoons, Nickelodeon cartoons, are teaching young boys how to be women. Diarrhea. <laughs> Erwin, I'm sorry. You stole my water! You as a strong masculine figure, a lot of people around me are gonna see me raise my son to be a fucking man, and a lot of them are gonna be like, why are you disciplining him? Why are you telling him to do that? Why are you telling him not to get in touch with his feminine side? And just like what happened where your baby mama might use your son as a tool for power, society might do the same fucking thing because masculinity is under attack in society. So why would I even want to put my son in a position like that where I can't even teach him how to truly be a fucking man, bro? It don't make no sense. And, and I'm lucky that I got this masculinity, bro, because I did not have any type of father figure or something similar to the time I was 19 years old. I'm lucky to be where I'm at right now. You know, a lot of men who, who weren't blessed enough to have that position. And the last reason why I don't want a kid in 2020 is a kid will keep me, keep me attached to the system. You guys already know I made a lot of videos about seeing vaccines, Mark of the Beast, bro. That time is probably going to come in 2021. You know, Trump said he's going to have 100 million vaccines ready by April 2021. I personally think he's going to win the election. So regardless of what happens with Biden or with him, there's going to be a vaccine coming really, really soon. You guys think that shit is sweet because they're letting you go back out. Sports is coming. <laughs> the vaccine is still happening, bro. I don't y'all, Y'all tripping if y'all don't think that's happening. But anyways, bro, when that time comes and when that buy or sell time comes and I learn my survival skills, I learn, you know what I'm saying, how to get food, how to get water, live on my own, live off the grid. Do you really think I'm going to be able to take a one-year-old or a two-year-old or a three-year-old with me to survive? Do you think I'm really going to be able to do that? Do you think it's going to be just easy for me to up and leave and say, you know what, I love you, little son, but you're going to be here. You're going to take the mark of the beast when I'm the one believing in y'all, believing in the most high. That shit would break my fucking heart. It's just it's hard enough for me to detach from my mom and my grandma and my little brother and my friends and my family when that time comes. But just imagine you have a fucking seed, bro. You have a little Brandon, a little pretty boy, Fleezy. And when that time comes, you got to keep him with his mom and he's going to be in this crazy fucking society, bro. So I wouldn't want a kid. I wouldn't want to bring a kid into a society like this, bro, because I see the end game, bro. And I would never forgive myself. And I guarantee you, a lot of you guys with kids, you're probably not going to do it, what you need to do in that moment because you're attached to your seed, bro. I promise you, bro. It's going to be something that's going to be probably one of the hardest decisions you'll ever make in your life. And I personally wouldn't want to have to make that decision. So that's why I don't want to have a kid, bro. So anyways, man, I want to let you, I want y'all to tell me how you really feel about whether or not men should have kids in this society in 2020. Me personally, I say no. I used to say yes, but where we're currently at right now, I wouldn't want one, bro. But anyways, man, I love y'all boys. Like the video, and if you're new, subscribe to your boy. I'm out this motherfucker, man. Boop.